What is up guys? Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are all doing good. These are five things that girls want but they'll never admit. Today we're gonna go over five behaviors that women actually crave for the love. They cannot get enough okay. but they're gonna tell you because it sounds crazy that they want that. <laughs> I know often I tell you that women are confused and it is true. They're not always here to give you a hard time. Sometimes they just don't know. They don't really understand themselves mm. and they don't understand what they really like. She is 100% right when she says that women are confused. Uh, most of the girlfriends which I've had have had problems with deciding. Uh, it could be small things like, for instance, if we're going to eat somewhere, then they're constantly thinking, where should we go and eat? What do I want to eat? But something which I've noticed, if you decide, then usually she says, no, I don't want to do that. You get inside a woman's mind so you can attract hmm. her yeah whichever you want you're gonna be able to attract her so before we start i created a patreon at www.patreon.com slash okay. manymonaco so if you guys want to go schedule a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me you can do so over there there is wow. more pictures more videos more all of that so please and thank you check me out yeah. all right so let's jump right in number one i know you're gonna tell me you're crazy but she wants you to be busy and ignore her yes it is a fact. Yes. Obviously, a woman is not... 100%. I was just thinking about this before I made this video, actually. My ex-girlfriend, I remember when I used to work, she would come to my work and she would just, oh, what are you doing? Why can't we go out? Why can't we... But if I'm just like sitting home on Saturday and not doing anything, bruh, she becomes almost like turned off by it. So when you are busy, that is 100% true. Mm. She will tell you that she wants attention and that she craves it. Yeah. But deep down, that's not really what she wants. Because for a woman to be attracted to you, she got to see you as high value. And yeah. high value, usually you don't get much time because yeah. you got so much shit going on. True. So for you to be just after her, after her, after her, yes, showing her a lot of attention, mm -hmm. in her mind, she's going to think that your value is not that high. And therefore, she's not going to like you that much. But if you show her that, yo, I'm kind of busy, I'll call you later, I'll call yeah. you tonight whenever I get a yeah. chance. Yeah, but you're not here texting her all day long. Draw back the attention, don't be sitting and texting too much. Good indicator of a person which is high value is a person which doesn't really have time. A high value man, Drake is a very high value man. And think of all the women at Drake's concerts. They're screaming his name. Why? Because they're like, see me, see me, look at me. He, they know that they're probably never going to see Drake ever again. I say this so many times, but absence make the heart grow fond. If you want her to love you, adore you, admire you, the time has to be so limited. It has to be so limited because then she's going to think, okay, he's taking time out of his schedule to be with me. I have to be on my best behavior because if I'm not, he might leave. Wrong. that's how you elevate your value mm. and that's how she's gonna think that you're high value True. but i'm telling you when you ignore her a little bit or you miss Facts. a call or you're not texting all day long she's gonna be thinking okay he's busy he got shit going on so as a man if you are busy if you are on your purpose and you are getting shit mm. done you shouldn't be able to Facts. text all day long or be on the phone all day long either if you put a girl to the side and focus on yourself, you're gonna come off as not needy, you're mm. gonna come off as high value man. You're yeah. not gonna be thirsty, and to her, that's gonna have more value. Number two, she wants you to not be jealous. Hmm. I know you hear women, well, I want my man to be a little jealous so he makes me feel good, and all that. but no, it's the total opposite. They don't know, again, they're not aware. Ah. But the moment that you show you're jealous, it's the moment that she think, or oh, you're not confident, yeah, you're insecure, true. you're scared of losing true. her, all that good stuff. It's true. Yes. It's true. It's not a good look. Honestly, because if you think of it, right, if you're not jealous, that means that, fine, do whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to continue with my life. Whatever happens, happens. It shows that you have very, very good self-confidence. A man which has a lot of girls texting him. He's not thinking about, oh, if I lose this one, She's just a piece, right? And if you treat her just like a piece, she's going to respect you more because you're willing to risk her, right? So 
you being jealous, it just indicates that you don't have that many options. You're, you're scared to lose her. And if you're scared to lose her, then you're going to lose her. It's all about social proof. That's something which I've noticed with women, all about social proof. And I know you're going to think, no, but it, it makes her feel good when yeah. I'm showing a little jealousy. Yes. Yeah, so you think, yeah. but unconsciously in her mind, it's like, oh, why is he worried about me? Why yeah. is he worried about losing me? Nah, True. Nah. It's, it works the opposite. Mm. Believe me, when you don't show jealousy is when she's going to be more attracted to you. Make sure when she goes out, you're not asking, so what, what male friend you're going with? What uh, or did someone hit on you when you were out? You know, don't ask none of that. She's going to feel crazy. Or when she goes outside and she has a dress and, you know, she probably knows she shouldn't be going outside with it. Act like it doesn't, it doesn't phase you. Yeah, because you are confident. You don't care. You know she's here. She's not going nowhere. Nobody is going to steal her from you. Mm. All that good stuff. That's when the girl is going to crave for your attention even more. Mm. Number three, she wants you to have female friends. Not other bitches that you're yeah. dating. But she, again, is not going to tell you that. But she actually likes, unconsciously, the fact that there's other women gravitating around mm. you because it shows that you are desirable but she is the one who has you yeah. that really attracts women yeah. obviously she might be a little jealous but at this point you are showing her that you have other options yeah not only female friends i would not only say female friends i would say it's good if you're talking to other girls if you're social if you're partying with other people if you're just connected as a human being uh, to other people and you're social and you're constantly like in a good mood and she knows like okay if he goes out they're going to have a good time it's like they don't want that like something which i've noticed is like when you're in a relationship with a girl right in the beginning everything is super fine she she loves to party she loves to do that but after a while, she pulls you in more and more and more. And then she starts to isolate you just a little bit because she does not. Once she figures out that you're a catch, she doesn't want you to be out on the market. Right. She can probably be out on Instagram and doing all of that. But if a girl really, really likes you, she clings and she wants she wants your closeness. So having female friends is a good thing, but not only just female friends. If you have girls which you're texting and which are interested in you and, you know, you just keep them to the side, like just just in case something happens. This is this is a girl which I, I can date or whatever you're texting. That's that's always a good indicator that she's going to stay because she knows like, OK, if I move from this spot somebody else is going to take it and somebody else is going to take it quick girls seek other girls validation that's what they do if a lot of a lot of women are talking about a specific person then every single girl wants to just ride the carousel that's how it is especially if your female friend are pretty it shows her you know okay pretty women are attracted to you and it's going to create that little competition inside of her mm -hmm. And that's going to keep her on her toes to be like, yo, I got to make sure I'm always pretty. I'm always yeah. doing what he's saying I need to do. Just so you pick her over and over again over mm. these other girls. Yeah. In her mind, the fact that she thinks it's a competition, she's going to start seeing you as the prize because she has you right now. She's winning. So it makes her feel good. It makes her feel like your value is hella high. Women will never admit that, but she is attracted to you because you are surrounded by beautiful women. Mm. Number four, she wants you to have an opinion and take fucking control. Yeah. Women are going to act like, no, I want to, I want to run shit. I want to, yeah. uh, they don't, they don't. True. Cause the, the fact that she runs shit is making her feel like you're not the man. Mm. And we want a masculine man. Mm. Some women might admit to that one, but. Not only a masculine man, you want a person with direction, with a vision. That's something which I think a lot of people refuse to realize. Or maybe right now everyone is using the word a masculine man, but it's a man with a vision. It's a person which knows where they're going. You can take Kanye as an example. Kanye might be the most craziest person we've ever seen, but just look at how many women gravitate towards Kanye. If you compare Kanye to Drake, right? The track record which Kanye has had with women is 
crazy. Because bad how bad how, he might be crazy, but he's crazy enough to shoot it out there, right? If you look at Drake, his track record isn't the same as Kanye's. I mean, the the women which you you have heard that Drake has been with girls and, you know, but if you just look at the girl which he wifed, an ex-porn star. So it's like, uh, you know, but you can, you, you can see it. You can see it. Just look at Kanye. He's crazy. He says crazy things and people hate him. But women are very attracted to that because it's like, okay, this man has actually a vision and he knows where he's going. He might be a little bit crazy, but crazy is good. Crazy means that you crazy enough to go against the herd. And if it came to it, a woman would choose Kanye over Drake just because Kanye is crazy enough to go for it. Drake, you know, he cares about everyone's opinion and he's constantly overthinking and women do not like that. They don't like it when you're overthinking, when you're unsure of yourself. It's like, ugh, like how are you going to, how are you going to lead us if you're unsure? When, when the kids come, what, what are you going to do? Ah, oh, I'm unsure. I'm, no, they like direction. They, you, we're going to go this way. And when you pick that specific route, you go with it. You can't deviate from the formula. Some still want. A man who takes charge is very attractive. Mm. As much as they still want to call themselves independent, I don't need a man, I don't need eh, all that bullshit. Once the man that takes charge comes along, they're like, I need, I need. Take charge. Number five, she wants to have quick but passionate sex. I think a lot of men have this confused and a lot of women also have that one confused because they act like, no, we need to go longer. No, that is not true. Bitches want a quick five, ten minutes and they're good. And I think you guys too have that one confused yeah. thinking you got to go hell along for her to be happy. No. It's more about the intensity yeah. than the length. Yeah. Women love to say that they want slow, connected sex. Mm. Lies. I'm telling you, a lot of women actually like the little slutty sex. Mm. It just doesn't sound good to say to a man because mm. we don't want you to think we're sluts. Mm. But more than half of the time, women would prefer some passionate, rough, aggressive, yeah. a little bit yeah. sex. Quick. Yes. And um, to add on to that, as well is not only quick I would have to say it's where you have it as well right if let's say you're traveling and you're finding different places like new experiences that's always very attractive so not too quick uh, but yeah sex with strength is something which she's very aroused by but anyway guys like comment and share uh, leave it in the comment section which of these five things you think is most important. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.